Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 3 and so far we're doing quite well. We've got a bit of science here and there to upgrade our rockets. We've only killed two Kerbals and we have some other interesting things to do. We need to reach an altitude of 70, uh, not 17, 70 kilometers. We need to reach at 1000 meters a second and some other stuff here and there. But right now, we really, really need to retrofit this rocket because, let's face it, it isn't very safe, is it? I mean, we've, we've bolted bits onto it here and there just so it isn't as catastrophic when the inevitable happens. But we have some better parts now. Just looking at the craft, it's not really a stub anymore. It's more elongated. And it's got a bit more stuff to it. It's slightly more complicated. So, I'll call it pragmatic. Because it is quite pragmatic. And it is the Deluxe S model as well. Because we, we have thought about uh, looking after our Kerbals. And I'm going to be clever as well. We're going to have a primary chute to slow us down a bit. And it won't matter so much if that one's destroyed. And then the secondary chutes will deploy. And then will definitely be safe after that, in theory anyway. But, let us see what happens upon launch. In the hot seat today is Bob Kerman. It's wobbling on the launch pad. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence, does it? Okie dokie. Right, well, off we go then. Those little solid rocket boosters got us a bit of acceleration off the pad, which is quite nice. Right, what kind of speed are we going to achieve with this, I wonder? Hopefully our changes as well mean it's going to be more balanced in flight and it doesn't freak out. But I suppose we'll see now upon decoupling. Yeah, it's definitely a lot better. Pro tip folks, don't... No, 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 I take it back. It isn't better, it's just as horrible. But we are still going to a new height. How high are we going to go? We're still travelling at 700 metres a second. We are at an altitude of 33 kilometres and rising. Maybe once we reach our maximum altitude, we'll be able to pop our uh, thing open and have a look inside. 41 kilometres. 40. We are going some distance today. This is great. And Bob's having a good time as well. Good good on him. He can't see much though. He's got a tiny little window there. And a nav ball that's freaking out. And a little thing telling us our velocity. Though the velocity isn't going down at any point soon, is it? Right, let's observe the materials. We didn't get trolled as much this time. It has a value of 22 science. The rarefied air has caused... Interesting changes to the gel samples. It seems like something is happening with the interior structure. And keep that data. Mysterious goo. What are you saying? Mysterious goo is very cold. Put a jumper on or something. Be clever. Don't freeze. Sixty kilometers. This is. This is incredible. I did not think we would get this high. Oh, there we go. That's as high as we got. 60 kilometers isn't bad, though. Let's observe this goo. If it hadn't freaked out as much upon the deployment of the, the liquid engine, we might have got a lot higher. And that's a shame. We might have managed the 70 kilometers that the... Uh, scenario required of us and we might have got a load of money we might have been able to have upgraded our vehicle assembly building but I guess not 
I suppose the pressing question now is Bob going to survive? We can try our theory with the primary shoot and see if that works because I think that the Apollo missions did have a primary shoot that slowed the thing down and then the major secondary shoots kicked in. Maybe as soon as the primary shoot sort of fails that's when we deploy the secondary ones and then gracefully touch down. Actually that's not cool. That's not cool. Shoot destroyed by aero forces and heat. That's not cool at all. That's the opposite of cool. That is super hot. We probably needed that heat shield come to think of it now. Right. We definitely needed that heat shield. Oh no. Sorry about that Bob. Well that definitely could have gone better. So if this was Pragmatic S then this should be Pragmatic Super Dash S because this is super safe now. In fact I don't think it's safe enough even though it is super safe. What do we want? We want a radiator. The next person with a head on the block appears to be Valentina Kerman. Are you going to be better than the blokes? Well, could do. I mean, they haven't exactly set the standard too high, have they? They all crashed and burned. You just don't have to crash and burn, do you? But then again, it is Kerbal and it is quite hard not to crash and burn. In fact, the game is pretty much built on crashing and burning. And by the looks of things, that's going to be happening again. Now let's see if we can be clever about this and use our rear engine to slow us down. Yep, we can. Is this going to be an Apollo 13 successful failure? I hope so. We're coming straight down at the very least. I mean, we have lost our primary shoot, but then again... We might be able to bring this down without even deploying the chutes. And then, you know, Valentina will just show how awesome she is because, like... Hold on. What's that there? There's definitely something on the ground. I don't care, we're going to deploy the chutes now. But... That's because... Well, that was a bit close for comfort, that explosion, wasn't it? Let's do some more observation. I mean, 3.8 science is better than no science. That's, that's just completely worthless now. Well, you landed on your head, but you didn't blow up. water facing side of the container. So how much science? That was 3.8. Actually, you know what? Let us reset and then see what we can do. Observe the materials. 7.5. See, it's more useful not moving. Some water has rusted one of the samples and some of the electronics are pretty much. Okay. Well, good one, Valentina. You did a lot better than than the others, they you didn't die for starters, that's a very good <laughs> accolade. I've survived. Well done. But anyway, ladies and gents, thank you for watching. Hopefully, we will stop burning through our kerbals as quickly this time. I'm glad that we survived and uh, ended on a, a high note, despite, you know, what happened earlier. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy, have a good day, bye bye.